I know that we're in lockdown. Boo. And uh, we're going to be watching a lot of things on our phones. So I've made this nifty little phone stand. Um, it's pretty easy to make. It's just a piece of wood with a notch in it. But it looks cooler than just a piece of wood with a notch in it, you know? So all you need to do is actually just find the measurements of your phone and its phone case and you make the notch to fit that. And it's going to help you out because no one likes FaceTiming or having a house party or speaking to someone on a video call and holding your phone up all the time. And maybe you watch Netflix on your phone and you want to be comfortable. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this nifty little thing. Let me get my notebook out. Poof. So I've managed to draw out what you need to do. So it's very basic. It's a triangle and you're cutting a notch into it. One side is seven centimeters. The other side is another seven centimeters and like four point something centimeters. And that's a bird's eye view, right? Don't forget that your triangle needs a 35 degree angle. Very important. It's time for the lockdown wood, aka pine. It's the only wood I could get before the lockdown started. Uh, as you can see, it's an old piece of wood. Uh, I made a couple of boo-boos on it. And I just flipped it over, drew our little triangle, our iPhone stand over there, and now I'm ready to cut. So bear in mind, you're making a notch, right? So you're only cutting like 15 mils deep max. Uh, it's an 18 mil wood, so you shouldn't really have a problem with it. So here I am using the machine. And here's another angle of me using the same machine. Don't you think my grinding noise is better? I take my machine away. I wipe off my wood, take a step back and admire my work. And that's the notch. We've made the notch. Now to make it easier, you can make a couple more incisions there and then you can just chip it out. But before that, here's me blowing sawdust. Ha. Huh smiles and now i'm just gonna saw away chop 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 choppity chop 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 suey chop chop and tasse there we have it you can see my incisions this is gonna make it easier for me to chop the wood and there i am taking out the wood so i'm using a hammer and a chisel very simple stuff just uh, be careful you don't want to hit it too hard and then chip the main structure of your iphone stand you're right so do it in little bits. Chisel, 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 chisel. Look at me chisel, chisel away. Another angle of me chiseling, I'm chiseling. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Plus, once you've made these incisions, it's really easy to chisel away this stuff. I mean, you'll see this next part over here where literally I've pulled it away. And don't worry about the rough edges, we're going to sandpaper it. So I took a piece of scrap wood again, uh, added some sandpaper onto it, stapled it on, and now I'm just sanding inside. Here's another angle of me using the sandpaper inside the notch. Wow. And now I'm using the Ryobi belt sander because I like equipment. So I'm just making everything smooth and stuff. It's very nice. And last little bit. And there we have it. This is now our iPhone stand. Now I'm sandpapering it again just to make it a bit smoother. This is a 320 grit. And here's another angle of me doing the same thing. Watch out for my tongue sticking out. Wow. And now I'm taking 1200 grit to make it nice and smooth. Just like my voice. And... There we go. You could use it now, like it's fine. You could use it and it'll be cool and it'll work. But I want that mod finish, so I'm gonna stain my wood. So here's a bit of a dark stain, painting it on nicely, uh, letting the wood suck up the stain. And this is just me finishing it off, you know? And now once I've covered everything, I'm gonna let it sit in the sun and dry. And I'll add a varnish later on. And there it is, I added a varnish and it's working. You can watch all your videos, you don't have to use your hands, and it's just a really easy lockdown project with stuff you probably have already.